for the weekend and I wanted to show you guys how beautiful this place is. So this is, uh, if you see here, this is the entrance into the uh, apostolate. I'll show you guys the trailer uh, later, the place where we'll be staying. Um, and this is almost 100 acres of land that they've, uh, you know, used for this, uh, um, for this place of worship. So I'll show you guys. Let's go. So this is the main building. Uh, this is where we have uh, the Divine Mercy Chapel inside. Uh, I could not film inside the chapel, uh, but I did take uh, you know few clippings around. So uh, we're gonna go inside now, and I'll show you guys how it looks. So this is the entire area, and on uh, the on the left side here is where we would be going in to have our meals. I'll show you that in a little bit. So now let's get into the building. So as soon as you enter in, this is the place where we you know you can hang your coats and you remove your shoes and so over here and because it's COVID now uh, they are also following all the COVID protocols so you'll have sister coming in to check your temperature and you know to ask you a few questions and only then you're let inside the chapel and on the left side is the dining area and on the right side is the fully stocked uh, library with all religious articles and religious books Right ahead uh, is the beautiful chapel inside um, and on this side uh, if you see these bottles they are all homemade jams and butter uh, they do also make um, handcrafted religious items uh, articles and also religious paintings uh, which are super beautiful and people can uh, people do come and buy them as well another beautiful thing about this uh, divine mercy oratory is they have the first class relics of uh, saint Therese and saint faustina which is such such a beautiful blessing um, and you will truly feel the mercy of the lord when you just come into this place So as you come out of the building, this is the beautiful landscape that you will see. This was all uh, reclaimed and made by the brother who uh, runs this place, uh, Brother Willie. He runs this place, so he reclaimed this entire land um, and you can see how beautifully it's done. And you see that place there, that is the grotto. I'll show you guys that right now. We're into the grotto, this is uh, dedicated to Our Lady of La Salette. I have never seen uh, such a beautiful image of Our Lady um, and they do have uh, this uh, grotto dedicated just for her. So people do come in here to sit around and pray. I'll show you guys an inside view of uh, how it looks because they have everything from all the appliances to uh, you know plates and cutlery and uh, chairs and tables you really ha don't have anything to bring from home you can just bring in if you would love you if you would like you can bring in some vegetables and you know come and cook your own food here they have a stove uh, an oven microwave coffee maker they have everything and also all the toiletries from your body wash until your detergent for your washer and dryer they have everything here so it's completely like a fully furnished house that you can enjoy and come and stay here and for a couple of days with family so this is how we enter inside um, this is the fully furnished uh, trailer that they built from scratch they built and also the wood that they've used to build this is also from the trees around they just use everything from their own uh, the acres of land that they own get in on the left side these are the individual rooms that you would be booking so uh, there are four rooms in this particular trailer and three of them all have bunk beds uh, and just one has a uh, like single twin cots uh, otherwise all the other three are bunk beds and this is the beautiful uh, spacious kitchen if you see here they do have stocked up um, breakfast cereals as well so this is the third room and then in here you have the living room like a small sit out area that you can sit and you know chill with family uh, with a beautiful um, scenic view as well. As we head straight uh, this is the other room that I spoke about uh, which has the 
twin cots but they are uh, separated they are not bunk beds and you can also see how big and spacious this room is as well uh, they have everything from the towels and you know uh, such clean bedding as well and this is the big um, washroom you can see there is a washer and a dryer as well with all the detergents cleaning agents and everything so we are now walking towards the farm uh, they raise livestock here uh, and also poultry for their milk and eggs uh, and they also sell beef which is of really high quality um, and uh, for during the winters they have a greenhouse uh, where they have their vegetable garden uh, and also they have raised beds uh, during the summer um, and trust me they use uh, these the produce that they get from their gardens and also the milk and the eggs and the meat they use these to make meals for us so except for the breakfast the lunch and dinner are is provided uh, by them so they cook our food uh, which is uh, and also both their uh, cattle and the poultry they are all grass fed You see here this huge uh, thing that they are building is another trailer with 13 rooms so that they can accommodate more number of people who come and stay here a uh, lot not a lot of people know this place so it's mostly through uh, you know word of mouth that people come and stay stay here and feel the presence of the lord and then they go out and you know uh, speak about it to people so that's how they uh, they do have people coming in and this if you see it's their own fabrication unit with people working in them and again the wood is all from the wood um, from these trees around and uh, you can see uh, the animals here are uh, tiny houses that, uh, for people to stay but uh, for uh, a limited number of people say four to five people um, and so they have they do have individual houses as such as well see here is their sawmill so this is where the wood uh, is sent for building all the trailers and also including all the cots inside the trailers all of their cots are also made from the same wood around a three drive a three hour drive from uh, Toronto so if you come by Toronto you definitely have to come uh, to this apostolate and you know uh, check it out just probably just even stay for a day but you definitely have to come and you will enjoy the and you can feel uh, how peaceful it is here so you definitely have to come and experience that and that's why I just wanted to uh, show you guys around and take this video so you guys can at least for now experience it virtually. <laughs> so we are going back and maybe Derek and I will go play some badminton for a while and then we'll head down um, for lunch. This is where we they serve you all the meals. You can see the tent there. Uh, that's where we sit and we have our meals. Uh, because of COVID, they do it outside. Otherwise, it's inside the dining hall right opposite to the library. 
this is an outdoor stations of the cross uh, it's a trail that you have to walk uh, you know while doing each station so if you see here we are walking through this lane and uh, they had uh, a small place built for each uh, of the 14 stations so that's it for this video my friends i hope you enjoyed this place and this uh, beautiful oratory uh, and i truly believe that all of you would come visit this place uh, like a home away from home uh, a place of peace where you can spiritually and emotionally recharge and also of course to discover what god has intended for all of us um, so i'll catch you guys soon in my next video uh, until then take care my friends bye bye